Hello everyone, welcome to Tony Talks. Hey, to all our beautiful subscribers, we say thank you so much for staying with us and uh, you are new here we are happy you find us please don't forget to like subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell so you will be notified for more upcoming videos in the comment section please no derogatory comments thank you all for watching till i will see you in my next video stay safe stay blessed i love you all bye this is where we need to take control of our emotions every full-grown human being there are some crying that is good there are some crying that is not good crying too much is never good in any way it does damages to a lot of things in your body one of this is using glasses now Somebody said, when issues are swept under the carpet, there are issues you will let go. There are issues... Okay, now, you want to talk to somebody. That person is not ready to talk. Can, I, can we make this a calling show? You want to talk to somebody. I want to throw this question out to you. Because if you know what nagging is, you understand from the perspective I'm talking from. If you understand what nagging is, nagging has destroyed more home than cheating. You know why? Nagging, I will even say, has given birth to cheating. If you ask me. Nagging has made a lot of children to run away from the home. If you understand, if you get where I'm coming from. Nagging has made men or women, a woman, to do what he or she doesn't want to do. When nagging is too much in a home, peace is removed from that home. When nagging is too much in a home, a child will run away and will prefer to stay outside than be inside. When nagging is too much in a home, a man will find comfort outside than inside. When nagging is too much in a hole, a woman can find comfort outside than inside. The best thing is, find the best time. For every woman being, every one of us, there is always a time, except you don't know your partner. There is a timing to communicate to every partner. Your pains. And many people don't know their partners. And that is what, excuse me, they nag. Nagging is repeatedly crying about something. When you know your partner very well, you will know the right time, the right mood, the right avenue, and the right way to communicate your grievance to them. The right time, the right mood. The right, uh, the right time, the right mood, the right uh, way to communicate your grievances to them. Screaming about something repeatedly can never bring any change. If you don't know your partner, you will, you will be turned to somebody that will be nagging. If you, don't know your if you don't know your partner very well, you will result into nagging instead of communicating. You have to know. There are some partners that when you discuss something, at that point, they have let it go. They are okay. They are not bothered anymore. They are not bothered anymore. They will be like, it's okay. But you, you will feel it is not okay because you feel they have not started doing what they are supposed to do or what they used to do immediately. And you will keep on bringing the topic and be repeating, repeatedly like, and that discussion, that issue, it's like you are still putting it in your mind 
and that person will say, no, I forgot, forgiving, I mean, forgotten about it. And you will say, but you are not acting like you have forgotten about it. And that person will say, how do you want me to act? You say, go back to the way you are acting. Say, I will, don't worry, I'm fine. I'm fine. But because you want automatic change, instant change, you repeatedly go on. You repeatedly go on and keep pushing it, keep pushing it. Okay, somebody says, some people, it is when you come back from work, tired, they will be asking you money for pampas, pepper, and maggie. <laughs> I'm sure that is for our people back, back home. I'm not sure any woman will do that here. She's working too. There is a time to communicate. I saw one comment. Somebody said, but, hold on, where's that comment? But does anyone just wake up and start to nag? If you talk, they say it's nagging. If you decide to keep quiet, they say you are not communicating. If person don't talk, tie and call. My sister, I always say something. I don't know what the changes the woman is trying to make. There is something I always tell us women. You see those men, just like we women too. Already we have developed our character before we meet that man, before they meet us. We have developed some characters. Now let me take it back to home. There are some men that when they come back from work, the place I know I know of one of my neighbor's husband that used to do that thing. Immediately that man comes from work. I always praise the wife how she copes. Because I hate that attitude. I. But you know some women will not mind that attitude. This attitude I'm about to talk to talk about. But me, I don't like it. Some men immediately they come back from work. The next thing they will do, where they are sitting. Is where they will remove their clothes, their shoe, their socks, their their shirts, their tie, and they will throw it aside. You know some men are like that. Monika, having their things arranged neatly, they don't know it. It is the woman. That will do it. That means that is their character. Before you marry them. You now marry such man. I'm just using this as an example. You now marry that kind of a man. You as a woman. You are working too. You are very busy too. And the home front. The children are still there for you to take care of. But this man will continue in his way. And you have you keep complaining, you keep complaining, and this man refused to stop. Now at this stage, what do you want to do as a woman? You want to continue fighting on that? I'm just using that as a very liberal example. Do you want to continue complaining about that? You want to continue fighting about that? Are you telling me this man as a full grown man? Does not know that a man, any full grown person, should clean up after themselves, at least to a large extent. But because it was brought up that way, it is what he was doing, it is what he has been doing. And you marry him, knowing he's like that, and suddenly. You want automatic change. Honestly, you go shout tire. Because unconsciously, you have married another baby. Can you hear? Oh, Ambi. 
She will see my bye bye. I'm waiting now, so. As long as I'm ready. Okay. Go with me. Okay. Bye. She knows it. Pull it by me when she wants. I want a fridge. Two by this in working because if you see me. Okay, I have one there. So you now want that man automatically to change and you keep complaining. Sometimes you need to leave it there. Come no, Rito Babujumu. There are ways you pass messages. Baloshi. Me fe. What? What is she say? Me fe. Me fe. It on she. I drank. When? When? You don't even know when. Only it's bad, Jenna. No. Supposed to be in the fridge, no. Me fe. Long way it on she for me. Go. I'm doing my show. You understand? Such man. There is nothing you can do. He has brought in his character. What she call me. That is the way he was trained. So you, you are the one that will now change him. At that age. If you want to change him. There is a way you are likely to go about it. Either you have a heart to heart talk with him. When he is in the mood to talk. To marry him. It is not a nagging. Because those are one of the things that brings nagging. Filthiness. At that point, you are complaining all the time. What do you see? 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 What do you Before you know it, you go call him dirty man. Or what do compounded? And that dirty man language, that word, he will come hold against you. Say you call him dirty man. Because you will get so frustrated. You will not know when you will call him names. You will get frustrated. You will not know the time. You will, give, you will say a word that you are not supposed to say. I'm not saying keep it silent in very serious um, situations. In a very situation, very serious situations, you need to sit down and talk. But you have to, there is a timing to talk. Know when something is still very hot. Not doing it at your own time, at your own pace. That is what nagging is all about. Nagging is not nagging is not talking. Nagging is not communicating. We have to differentiate between the two. Communication is when you are talking to somebody and that person is listening to you and is ready to listen, is ready to talk. But when you are not, when you are now talking, you are talking, you are talking, that person is not ready. In fact, when nagging becomes too much, you will be talking. That person is just, is not listening. He or she is not listening to you anymore. Yes. You are talking. That person is just like, Toba ye wa no dake. He's not even taking heed. Every of your word is just dropping to the floor. Every of your word is not making impact. He doesn't even know what you are saying. He or she only do be ringon because I near won't come in. That nags too. Wama soroba yama upe walo demo. Toba ye wadake. Toba ye wadbe me dake. So everything you are saying is falling to the floor. Policy changes. Communication is not nagging. Nagging is not communication. Communication is two way. If it is not two way, I'm still I'm speaking. You are listening. You are speaking. I am listening. You have something to say. I have something to say. Communication is a two way thing. Nagging. Now you they talk to yourself, oh, for somebody that knows how to manage nagging. If you are a man in my own life and you are a naga, I don't know if there is any word called naga because men they do them too. Me neither one. Alone. Simba tiri poni wa le le jo we we niye. But one thing you have complained about 
you want to continue to do it. Until so for me, you have told me. Okay, Motibo. But I may not be ready at that time to make adjustments. Or I'm looking for a way to adjust to what you have complained of. And while I was doing it, you continue talking. That is nagging. You've told me what you don't like, right? The same thing applies to our children too. What's your call? Thank you. The same thing applies to our children. When we are trying to, especially our teenagers, I want to the adults. More I love what are they in back before. Why do some children run away from home? It's because private nagging is too much. A parent, you try to correct that child. The child, Oti Bo, Oti has understand. The child has had you. But the child is trying to plan or think of ways to adjust. But you kept on doing that thing. And that child will be like, oh my God. Nagging gives headache. Before you know it, that child will prefer to stay outside than come inside the house. That child will find comfort outside than inside your house. Nagging is not healthy for anybody. It's not healthy for a man. It's, uh, hey, you say you can't start repetition. Exactly. That is what nagging is all about. Nagging is repetition of something. Of what you want done. And it's not being done at the time you want it done. That is nagging. Of changes that you want. And it's not coming at the time you want it. That is nagging. It takes peace from everyone involved. It affects everyone involved. Everybody listening to you when you are nagging. Everybody is affected. Even the children. Okay, you have told me something. Motibo. Mule masopo motibo utiso. And when you were saying it, I was listening to you. But you thought the changes has not come. Then you want to continue to remind me. Oh my dad, well, I'm not so familiar with my boy now. I had everything you said. My boy, any suru, I did next day. I call any. Oh, we live in a few bones sorrow. If you want any, oh, we live in a few bones sorrow. Before you know it, wala ke kereti otongo abadinla. Nagging is not communication. Communication is not nagging. Obiri mi anagi titi ti. Okunrin mi anagi titi they will not give on kerewa Abe mo pon ma nagi kerewa na Ah Ni awon nkan ton ti share pelu mi You see this blog where they do This is this topic where I treat finish today where they treat now If I finish my phone will begin ring ring today They no go let my phone ring Now so I go they hear different experience different experience Some women nag some men nag even in the bedroom during the do, ah, she be multi so far. Pay like here, come and she be here. Need the nagging, I mean, need the kerewa. When you are supposed to be smiling, you are complaining. Nagging simply means complaining too much in a simple terms. Kosibiti and lomi ato kuni ato biri tomba ni ru character in lowo. It is not about their partner. So I take exception to the person that says behind the nagging wife is a husband who refused to do what he is supposed to do. Then that means behind the nagging husband is a woman who refused to do what she's supposed to do. I take exception to that. People who nag are elejo we we. Those are the people they call elejo we we in Yoruba. And we have them in women. We have them in men. They complain about everything. The everything there is always something to talk about. There is always something to complain about. And when they complain, they want that changes immediately. When they complain, they want you to comply immediately. Either it is convenient or it is not convenient. Allah tell more. God bless you, Bukola. That is just a very good word for them. Allah tenumo. Allah tenumo. Ma tenumo. Ma tenumo. 
matter no more. The same thing. Those kind of people, they will bring the same thing in different dimension. Funny, funny enough. Have fun. Love you. The same thing, no? The same oh, um, situation, no? The same um, problem. They will twist it when they want to tell you about it again. They will twist it when they want to tell you about it again. They will come in different way to come and tell you. They tell you this in, in the, this way. Tomorrow, when they are going to repeat that word, that um, situation, they will talk about it in another way. Those are the kind of people you hear. Lord, you come by. Lord, you come by. You are ready, Lord, you come by. Those are the people you will hear. You remember that day, sometimes ago. You remember that day. Ojo come by to she come by. Ojo come by. Me o bag be. She don't say ojo come by. They never let go. I tell you more be a J. Uni woto woto. If you have such people, e ite embaru mogbe mo yini. Either you are a man or you are a woman. Because it really means it. Mo hate ke yon manag. Mo hate ye. Koma soro. Koma repeat ye. Koma soro. Koma repeat ye. Ada akpe won. On lan komo mi lori. And. Such people. All they want to do. Is they want you to make continue to make see yourself as a bad person. That there is nothing good about you. There is nothing good about you. Nagi no kim bi mori. Communication uman bi mori. Husband and wife. Eh? Even our children. You cannot nag on them. You cannot impose. A full grown adult. If you cannot impose on your children, Sherry, I I find something very funny about us, as a people. As parents, we respect our children's opinion when they get to a certain age. But as couple, we don't respect each other's opinion. And I always wonder why. If you can sit down with your child and agree on some terms that affect all of you as a family, but with your partner to sit down and agree on things that affect you as a couple, you find it very difficult to do. What if it is a man that nags? That is what I am saying. Nagging is not good in any way for anybody. It's not good for anybody. It's not LD. If you know somebody who nags, share this video with them. They are not different from Awoko, Elejo Wewe. That is the name they deserve. Oh, by Dokuni, oh, by Dobiri. Ko ba Dokuni, Elejo Wewe, don't worry me. Ko ma more ebo sheri. Oni woto woto. Oni bodo boro. Oni kobo kobo. Oni kebe kebe. Elejo Wewe okore. It is worst if it is coming from a man. It is worst when a man cannot undo things without nagging. It is very irritating. A real man does not go enforcing and nagging. A real man will communicate once. Toba talk on any new lay. A conloma communicates. Oh, what do image? We communicate and things will fall in place because he holds his home. But a weak man will nag. So if you are a man, you are a naga. I be you nag. Is there a, an English for I, what do they call people who nag? What is the English word for people who nag?
I don't know the what is the English word for people who nag. If you are a man, you nag. You should cover your face in shame. That means you are weak. Because you can ask me a woman who nags. A woman who nags is weak too. I have said it earlier. A woman who nags is naga. <laughs> are you sure? I get a check. Complainants. Let me check what in me. Somebody who nags is. Let me check in dictionary. I don't know what it is. So I won't lie. So let's check what, what they are called. What do you call people who nag? Okay, they are called common scold, nag, scold, or scolder. Okay. Or oh, let me say one word for people who nag. Or oh, somebody has found it for us. Or oh, it's just a joke. If you are fast, you can check it for us. We are learning. Because me will tell you, I will One word for people who nags. Funny enough, what building of fishing? Fish wife. Many times from one who nags, including fish wife and scold. At least the first one I saw. Fish fish wife. <laughs> that means it's more common with women. Or with the Mori yo. Naga or Arangua. Okay, thank you, Mesole. Lean green, Mori fish wife, Umbi. So there are many words for it. Ari Dan. <laughs> oh, Biri. In fact, it's more of Oh, Biri. I don't know where you are watching, reading from. But I'm reading here on English, English Stack Exchange. It says, Interestingly, many, many terms for one who nags include fish wife and scold. Um, nominated above apply solely or primarily to a woman. <laughs> oh God. Other times, a phenomenon that I can't say. Okay, other terms of this type include hen, and pegged, shrew, tamagant, haridan, happy. Happy as H A R P Y. I don't know where you are reading for. Or just call them a naga. The naga is actually correct too. Or just a nag. But they went on and. But one thing which. Is it makes it biased. Make it look like as if opening a colon shape. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's so <laughs> so somebody fond of you can be a scold too. Araza Arangua. Somebody mentioned Arangua now. Nidla Netla Araza. <laughs> so you see, and itoba arazi, you know, that is harassment. Check bo. They gave it another time. They said Araza. Somebody who is you are harassing your partner if you are a man or woman because men do it too, but more for women than men. <laughs> men do it too. When you when you are nagging, nagging is not communication, nagging is harassment. Persistently, 
harassment in yen o n lo agbara lori eni yen pe compulsorily it has to be your way it has to be at your times it has to be at your time and everything that is no communication cavilling okay so bingo ah scold hodged oro ko e ti e po you see so you, i i know what i'm saying when you have had the experience of people who nag even some friends nag friend to friend some people have friends who nag they complain of everything they talk of everything they want to talk they want correction of everything there are some things that cannot be corrected there are some things some characters you will see in your man in your woman that you just have to accept it is the way they were they were trained and brought up and you saw it before you married them you saw some things those red flags were there those things were there you saw it in your partner but you married them like that you marry her you marry him and you now marry them you think you want to change them ah let me quickly drink i'm hungry Oh yeah, Katie Jell. I didn't know I would feel so hungry on time like this. You know, you now think you want to change the person. I, an example is that example of that one I cited, where some men do not know that they are need that they need to, and you know, many men were brought up that way. They were not brought up. Our parents focus on we children, on our female children to take care of homes. And that is why you find that many men of our generation that we married, many of them, only very few of them made their homes very neat. Majority won't want at all. Oh, yeah, Katie Jell. Oh, Mama the what they know how to do is to come inside. Where's my food? Carry their leg up because from their mother's house, now so then they do. They come back from work when they were going to school. They come back from school. Mama don't get food ready. Oh, jello and benye. Mama will call the girl child. Come here. Oh, yeah, Shele, do this, do this. The boy child will finish food. He's going to play football. You now marry the man. Where mama no train. To how to even make a bar. They didn't train him. How to sweep the floor. They didn't train him. That in the home. Oh, help your wife a little bit. Even his own father. He saw his father sitting down. Tiny rapper. Eating food. After he eat food finish. He put leg up. They do to speak like this. For mouth. Now mama go carry wash, um, water for washing hand. Now mama go do everything. Now mama go pack all his clothes. Where he do anyhow. Now mama go wash him. He grew up to see all that. And many of us parents. We are still making that mistake. On our boy child. You now marry the man finish. Now you won't train the man. How to arrange clothes inside wardrobe. Share for the house where they come from. They use wardrobe. Okay, they don't use wardrobe. He marry you now get wardrobe. You are you help him arrange his clothes very well. So that if he wants to take his tie, his tie is like that. Some men are very neat. In fact, in my own case with my late husband, the guy was the neatest. He gave way. <sighs> that one called neat. She now see it and they call people where they over neat. He overneats. He overneats so take the overneatness when they cause wahala. Some men are very neat on their own. They are very, very neat. The way they will arrange their things, the way they carry things, the way they keep things, I give it to them. But some men, <laughs> when you see some men, you go say ah, ah 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 ah, and those are the little little things causing wahala. Those are the things you will keep repeating. 
Uh, can't you help me to do this? Can't you do this? Have you forgotten this? Have you done that? Nagging is not communication. Communication is not nagging. Communication is not nagging. Nagging is not communication. Communication is sitting down together to iron out issues. Nagging is talking on your own. And for all you care, the person you are talking to is not ready to listen or is not even listening. Because you have said it before. You have said it once, twice. Anything you are saying in a relationship, you are saying it the first time. You repeat it the second time. There is no need for the third time. You are not talking to a toddler. And the mode of communication. Communication is talking to your partner politely. Nagging is talking to your partner in a rude manner. Sherry Kweko Jora won. I repeat. Communicating to your partner is politely. Talking rudely is nagging. You cannot talk to your partner, either your wife or your husband, like they are nobody. That is not communicating. Some don't like let's talk. They use it as excuse to avoid finding, uh, apologizing for their wrong. When you want to talk to somebody, either your wife or your husband, they are even your co-worker in the office, even your, your, your is it subordinates, your junior in the office. Respect is expected from even Oga to Omoshe. For that, to, for that company to function well. If you have to apply respect in the place of office, for office to function well. Okay, thank you, Rashidat. For your office to function well, why do you think not applying respect in your home, your home is going to function well? There is going to be peace. Irrespective, even if it is your wife you are talking to. There are ways you will talk, you will get positive answer and positive change. There are ways you will talk it will bring negative changes into that home. Communication is very, very key in relationship. Respect is very, very key. Very, very important in relationship. Don't say, this is how my father used to talk to my mother. Or this is how my mother used to talk to my father. And bring it into your home. You are looking for trouble and trouble you will get. Trouble you will get. Nobody nags and gets positive feedback. When you communicate, you are likely to get positive feedback 70%. But when you nag, when you nag, you go nag tire. When you nag, you will create more problem. When you nag, you will chase that man, that woman out. And you know what is going on now these days? These days, a lot of this younger generation, especially, they see cheating as part of life. They see it as payback. They see it as com comfort. Okay, this man, wait there for inside house. I cannot let him kill me. They find somebody else outside. Is that me? It's common now. So no be only men. They cheat now. Men cheat. Some men, if you ask them, they will say it's because they don't have peace at all. And they cannot die young. And nobody wants to die young for real, for real. And they, before you know it, they find somebody outside, they are confiding in. Before you know it, that person has become 
their girlfriend. Before you know it, they would rather spend time with that person than to go home. It's in fact, she be for here abroad. Men would rather take 16 hours job and be very busy and be making money. You see, back home in Nigeria, men will get nagging wife for house. They don't bother to go home on time. Now then they go home around 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Thank you, Auntie Ade Tutu. Such men, when they close from work, they go straight to beer parlor. They will go and sit at beer parlor, chop pepper soup, they carry girlfriend, don't go body. Yoruba culture taught men to put legs on the table. It's not only Yoruba culture, Nigerian culture generally. It's not only Yoruba culture. Taught men to put legs on the table while the woman will clear the table. There is nothing bad in clearing the table for your husband. Don't get me wrong, please. There is nothing wrong. Every woman, there is nothing wrong in you doing it for your man. There is nothing wrong in that. Okay? And there is nothing wrong in a man helping the wife too. Don't, don't even compromise that. For life to be easy, for the home to be peaceful, they help us to go both ways. The man can cook if he has the time. Once in a while, let it relieve your way. Once in a blue moon. This is not the era of those days. People should take it out of their lives and out of their relationship. The era of those days is not what we have now. If you want to enjoy your, 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 your marriage, you want to enjoy your relationship. This is not the era of something belongs to one woman. This is for a woman to do. This is for a man to do. No. It's partnership. That way you will have peace. That way that home will be a home you want to go to after work. And I always tell us women, one thing, if a woman makes the home peaceful and beautiful, the man is always proud to come back to that house. And even instead of going out, bring friends into the house instead than staying outside. Trust me. Make that home peaceful. Make it beautiful. Make it a place of where there is laughter. The man would rather come and spend time at home than to go and spend it somewhere else. Remember, when they go out, they are spending money they don't have to spend. When they go out, when I say go out, I am not talking about a man touching one woman outside once and, you know, I want to come out. They will not stay there. No matter what, because they know the peace they are enjoying in that home. And they are friends that they talk together. So they won't want to make that ile won to be bono instead of that. Eh? Instead of that house to scatter. They would rather not commit themselves to any woman outside. Men that have sense know how to do they know what I am saying. I want to be one more continuum so. You know, you shall not want lost inside Punanio. Like we don't battle of Compunanico. Tim won't buy one in you. When you go out, don't buy Lobay, eh? Talk by Daniel. Why get any more? Munia will leave. In fact, one man sorrow, ya won't want to joke who bring a lame wani. In other words, don't take me serious. Iru one man sorrow, ya won't want. One man heli, ya won't want. One man sobo she find to. Iru one when the girlfriend, when the wife call and they are with girlfriend, they will start telling the girlfriend, I ya long pay ye. One sofu girlfriend, I ya long pay ye. In other words, and to nimi long pay me ye. Girlfriend, it oriye o back pay. Lo man wa ye attach importance se o koni be. He has told you where you belong already. To buy your one girlfriend. He has told you this is where you belong. My home come first. Or kunitori e badi ekpe no. Ti o fe kinu le o mudaru. Scope unye ni. Womu de no. If madam phone ring, she ring. Ah, ma yam yalong pe nye. Oh, that is my wife calling. 
my wife will have to see girlfriend. So if the who girlfriend get corrected, your girlfriend is supposed to know say in get level, he no get any, he no get definition in the man's life. If she now attach importance to the man, now she won't add break for herself. Now that girlfriend won't add break. Such man, you don't attach importance to them. You don't take them serious. And you don't let them use you as a backup when a uh, madam is doing menstruation at all. Yeah? That is what most of them use girlfriend outside to do. When that madam is doing um, menstruation, that is when they will remember you because madam is doing menstruation and they don't want to put their teeth inside blood. So they call show one lay. Men know I'm taking telling the truth. So for men, we get it. There is a line. But I always tell women, you see that home, that's your home. Make it peaceful. That's your home. Make it beautiful. You don't have to be rich for your home to be beautiful. A beautiful home is not a big home. A happy home is not a big home. A beautiful home is a home that has peace. I'm your woli olowo ti oni peace. I'm on your low, you little low, till only peace. I'm on your little low, till selling day. I'm more yellow, I'm more yellow, more ni much, boy, you want no lady. Neatness is another thing, and that is where some men nag when a woman is not neat. Men will down turn it to nagging. A woman that is not neat, nigba to padie, will be tough. Ko neat later. 